So manual is the best way to do it because if something goes wrong with flashing the firmware to your drone or your controller, you will get a notification straight away and it will repair it and fix it for you instead of you having to troubleshoot all your problems. So let's get started and show you the best way to update your firmware V500 and then of course maybe testing all the new features. Wow, this is even more stranger. Now I got ACs beeping and I got a red light flashing. Hello guys, welcome back to how to do way RC. And yesterday I got a notification on my phone that there was a new firmware update for the Mavic Mini, the version 5 500. With some cool and long awaited new features with a smart manual white balance that of course we have been waiting for because of the ND filters that we are playing with, polarized and normal. You need the white balance manual settings to make optimal use and get professional video footage out of your Mavic Mini using those lenses. And you also can now set the exposure for the video and they added 2.7K 24 frames per second improving the video footage even more. But we have to wait and see here during testing if this improvements also really work because in the last firmware update you have seen that I've got a lot of problems that we had to overcome and fix and troubleshoot. And during the troubleshooting I learned a new method to download firmware updates and that's the only way that I'm going to be using it because the automatic firmware update that can cause that you are missing a piece of the code and it's not notifying you of that problem. Well if you're doing the other way through your computer manually updating the firmware from your drone and your controller you will get a notification that said in my case you are missing a little bit of code of your previous firmware update v400 should we fix and re repair that and I'm like of course well, I never had that notif notification on my phone. So let's get started and show you the best way to update your firmware V500 and then of course maybe testing all the new features. And the first step is going to DJI, go to Mavic Mini, go to Downloads and here we can find all the different versions the, for the app but also we can find DJI Assistant for the Mavic Mini so well for the Windows as for the Mac version. So you download this and set that on the computer and we unzip it. Then you're gonna locate it on your hard disk. Now that we've got the assistant program running, you're gonna first have to turn on the drone before we're going to connect it. So you turn it on and then you connect the cable to your PC. And it will be recognized and we got the Mavic Mini coming up. And double click that. And then we're gonna see all the firmware updates that we have done and the firmware that are coming up. But there is not the update, firmware update that we are looking for. And if there's something going wrong with during flashing, then you know it straight away and it will fix it and repair it. 100% complete. Let's go back and check for the new firmware update. And the latest version is the V500. So, upgrade. Of course, check. It's connected to the internet. The device is powered on. Well, the light stopped. It says 100% update complete. Let's go back. Check. Well, Let's disconnect the drone. Turn the transmitter on. Now connect it. And check. Confirm. It's connected. Now let's see in the Mavic Mini remote controller. Let's see if we got any upgrades. The latest version. It says 100% complete. All four lights are blinking. That means it's done correct. I'm going back. Now the current version is the 500. That's nice. Now we can close it off and disconnect the controller and go outside and have a test flight. Wow! I got a new firmware update but I don't have the abilities to change up and choose I'm still stuck at auto and unable to switch modes. That is super strange. I was hoping so much from this new update. But again, I need to troubleshoot. Let me take off and just fly. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Landing. Wow, this is even more stranger. Now I got ACs beeping. I got a red light flashing from the Ma from the Mavic Mini. Let me. Why is that? Unable to take off. Okay. We got a. Oh, we got a lot of arrows. Let's turn it off. The drone is acting up weird since the new firmware update. We're gonna have to troubleshoot it again. Every time we land, we got an EC error that starts beeping. We cannot take off anymore. We have to reset the drone 
how to reset, turn it off, turn it back on before we can fly. One more flight and then it turns on again easy. One more time we land and easy again get arrows and the light starts to turn red. It's really weird and I did confirm I got a new update V500 but I don't have the manual ISO, not for video at least, only for photo. So no shutter speed or isolation for ISO for video on my version V500 and also not 24 frames per second. So that's super weird. Again, we have to go back to the bench. I hope you like what I'm making these videos and the videos that I'm coming up troubleshooting these problems. Then please subscribe if you're new to this channel. And if you're interested in this drone or you're interested in the spare parts and upgrade parts that we have linked down below, then check those out. Hope to see you next time. This is How to the UIC signing out.